Good move. I went back. Great move oh my back. god. You guys would have killed us if we did return to this. Good morning, everyone. We just recorded a reaction, and I forgot to reset the buttons, so when I hit record again, all the buttons show up. So I'm Johnny, Welcome. that's Richard. Hit like and subscribe, ring the bell. <laughs> also, be sure to click the button below where you can buy us coffee to help support our page and become a thoroughly member. Let's listen to music. Actually, awesome. I'm good with that. Let's. I like that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. We are Let's back with it. Chakra Khan singing Goo Goo Dolls from Iris. This is a good song. This Did Great this song. come out? Yeah. Was this come out in the the Meg Ryan, Nicolas Cage Yeah, what was that called movie? again? Uh, Angel something? I don't remember. City of Angels. City of Angels, yeah. Yeah. The, the so song, late, late 90s. Late 90s, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's when the song hit it big. Um, Goo Goo Dolls rose from Buffalo, New York, which is close to where you and I grew up. So Indeed. this should be cool. His voice, I can already picture on this because he's got like that really, he did the Tennessee whiskey. That oh, was just yeah. like, Gosh. yeah, just a super cool, growly, whispery, cloudy, leathered. Leathered. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that's... it was lovely and weathered. Leathered. Leathered. That is okay. that is the description for Shakur Khan's voice. Let's jump go. in, shall we? <laughs> and there it is. Is our number one request for him. Let's see what we got. Interesting. They're from the soundtrack. Piano version. I'm gonna give up forever to touch you. Cause I know that you feel me somehow. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. And I don't want to go home right now. And all I can taste is this moment. And all I can breathe is your life. And sooner or later it's over. I just don't want to miss you tonight. I don't want to work to see me Cause I don't think the dead understand oh. When everything's meant to be broken I just want you to know who I am Quick pause. The, the mix, mix for me... Yeah, the mix for me is not working for you, too. The orchestra is so loud. Like, I want to hear everything he's doing. I was hoping for more of an intimate sound. Yeah. He sounds great. I, I will say, I'm gonna, I'm just going to do a quick search to see if there's another version of him singing this one. Maybe I got the wrong one. But Yeah, it's, that this be, one's not doing him, him justice. Yeah, it's Exactly, and it's just the mix. Oh, here we go. Here's uh, This one might be a cool one to go with. I see it looks like others have reacted to the studio version but i don't know like i i feel like i can't hear everything he has to offer i'm gonna check this one out and i give up forever there we go to Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now And all I can taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life When sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight And I don't want to work to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's meant to be broken I just want you to know who I am Can't fight the tears that ain't coming All the 
moment of truth in your lies When everything seems like a movie Yeah, you bleed just to know you're alive And I don't want to hurt oh, to see me feel it Cause I don't think that they understand Everything's meant to be broken I just want you to know who I am I just want you to know who I am Oh yeah, he's great Jangan kemana mana di rumah, tong kemana mana, cicing. <laughs> I I just have this vision of him like six Don't years be. old, sounding like this. Like it's hard to picture him any other way. Like, I know. I can just picture him like twinkle, twinkle, little star, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Everything. <laughs> like, just like it's just I don't know his presence, his body language. It, it just it it feels so right with that voice i can't imagine it any other way it's just wild it does it's it's so it's so guttural um and it's it's such a cool sound and i guess i wanted to ask you like with a sound like that how, how do you how do you maintain like vocal health like how much sort of is is there damage being done when you when you're so like soulful like that when it's like you're just pouring it all out in a short answer yes it's fatiguing but that doesn't equal, yeah. fatigue doesn't equal damage if there's not okay is, you know what i mean it, as long as there's some maintenance mixed with it but anytime you've got that much for, you know that much force of air against the folds and them slamming together it causes vocal fold edema in the very least meaning that's mm -hmm. just that the outer layers of the fold swell so that's just anybody screaming at a baseball game or just singing for a long period of time, just even talking for a long period of time. Like right. it's going to have some sort of negative effect on the voice, period. That being said, the fact that he's doing this for extended periods of time for many, many years, and he still has a speaking voice, but his speaking voice is a little harsh. There is an imbalance. So mm -hmm. that suggests some sort of at least basic you know, uh, or low level pathology taking place where the folds aren't like meeting all the way cohesively. I'm not hearing clear tone at a quiet volume. So yeah, there's probably just a little bit of abuse going on, but, but even if you, you, know, you had the right amount of sleep, you hydrated and you warmed up and did all the right things. When you sing that harshly all the time, it's going to have a negative effect. But it doesn't mean he can't maintain that for years and years. I mean, look at Steven Tyler. I mean, look at look. And Joe God Cocker knows uh, what he's put yeah. into his his body over the years. Yeah. and I think he finally. I think they they just called it quits Aerosmith because he, you know, at age seventy something, like he's he's, he's lost it. But I mean, right. that was a good fifty years. <laughs> it's of, insane. Of, and so maybe you know. not the best example of like you know to your grave kind of thing. But but he was still pulling off three octaves. Oh, you know, yeah. be, before it just the voice could only take so much. But yeah, it is fatiguing. But singers are athletes; they're just smaller muscles. So it's like if you look at any sport, any related art form, even as a, a pianist. But all that being said, I mean, he's got such an amazing sound. He's carved out <laughs> of his larynx that is so cool and so uh, special. I think you yeah. know, and whatever's led him up to this moment. I 
I came back to this recording. I'm just going to kind of jump in halfway through. I want to make sure we're not missing something because that was a short version you just did acoustically. Okay. So let, yeah, let's yeah. listen in on what's going on here as well. You bleed just to know you Oh, okay. Glad we did that. Oh. And I don't want to work to see me Cause I don't think that that I understand When everything's meant to be broken I just want you to know who I am <laughs> Interesting, I like this a lot. I'm so okay. Good move. I went back. Great move oh my back. god. You guys would have killed us if we didn't return to this. So we were just talking about the folds being able to, you know, have a clear tone and, <laughs> and be able to pull so he's got this amazing head voice access. So the folds have to stretch and have to have a thin sound, but where the fatigue shows in his voice is in his speaking. Like his just you can hear there's a huskiness that's there, right? Right. But the fact that he's still we, I think we said this last time. Like he could still riff and access head voice, which means he still can thin the folds out on command, which is just yeah. amazing with that voice. He can riff like a mofo, as the kids say, because <laughs> all the kids are saying that stuff. So. Uh, all of them. Um, <laughs> let's continue from here, yes. because in the back yeah. of my mind, I'm just like, okay, this one has like a million more plays than the other. Why? When the set, when the mix wasn't good and has that many more plays, I had a feeling we were missing There's something. There's something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. Whew. Okay, he definitely <laughs> had some those last belting moments. There was definitely a clearness to his tone uh, that wasn't, you know, wasn't evident before. So it's like, yeah. there's, there's he definitely has access access to that as well. It's not just yeah. like a one trick pony type of thing. That's not by uh, any means. Wow. Okay, so this is <sighs> this is a great version. <laughs> oh, Love I that. wish, I wish they had a mix that we could hear the details of what's there. There's just so much coolness. Even that, so with B5 that, yeah. So the, before, so that's his head voice. So the folds are thinning to get that pure tone. And then where does he go? And this big belt at the end here. What's that? Well, that's still the B. So it's uh, so the, he modulates the chorus up a full step, and it's like everything's meant to be broken. But he's going after that C sharp, hitting that, which is not an easy note note to hit, especially with that style of singing. Do it again, but husky. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I really want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. I just want you to know who I am. I just want you to know who I am. Yeah. 
Oh, I mean, it's still got that the huskiness built in, but just the definition of the pitch is more clear in, in and of itself. Oh, what so, a- going going back to my original concern of how he was going to maintain, I think he's just fine. He's going to be <laughs> fine. Everybody, don't worry. He's going to be fine. <laughs> you know, but it's it it does fatigue the voice. Sometimes the what makes a singer so great is the very thing that eats away at their bit their ability. Again, that's with a guitarist, a drummer, a, a runner, a basketball player you know it's just mm-hmm. like your style that makes you you can have a negative you know long-term effect sometimes right. uh, but we've seen exceptions and we've seen just amazing things happen we've talked about paul mccartney as well it's just like you know he's smoked everything under the sun and <laughs> just you know he's in his 70s he's still got head voice he's still got cool transitions it's like it's it's amazing i think he's he might be 80 now i think he's <laughs> probably yeah. yeah he's 82 i think um <sighs> but bruce springsteen's another example not that he's like you know like my my favorite vocal you know example but there's like, a, far, there's an obvious a cost standpoint. there though yeah but he still does four hour shows and he's like he still hits notes like it's not maybe not as Maybe not the note he intended, but oh, <laughs> there are he still hits them. He hits them. There, there it's just not there. like you know, t- compared to the technical proficiency that we that we see on the show. It's he's a different thing, right? Um, but it's like I mean, he's been singing guttural for 50, 60 years Since now. Day you know? one, it's like, absolutely. Ah, uh, all right. Well, that was great awesome. Great version. Great yeah. version. I I love the symphonic take on that. Yeah. And you know, when we talk about the mix, I mean, when when you do a proper mix, what what usually we like to do is because there's frequencies going all over the place. And when a frequency from one instrument steps on the other, it kind of cancels it out. So it's like, usually what you like is you like enough of a carved out space for the vocal to really breathe. So we, we obviously heard him, but there's, there's frequencies that we're missing because they're just being covered up. So exactly, it's, you know, and I'm glad you brought that up too, because it's actually harder to create a mix to begin with. Because it's yeah. not just you don't have like a laser beam voice that just sits on top. It's uh you have to create a lot of space for his voice to even. That's always exist. the issue with my voice. My my voice is is more of a warm sound. It's not as as husky. It's not as husky, that. but warm for sure. But warm, and it's tougher to find that space. It sounds it's cool. It's like John, like a John Mayer voice as opposed to like right. Axl Rose, which is like you know just cuts right through, and you can. Literally, you can listen to the Guns N' Roses song. And you turn the volume way like down to almost nothing, and you could still he's hear right him there. Coming through. Yeah, but with so, your voice, I, yeah, I've heard it like against a piano or certain tones of the guitar. It's like you have to like literally carve out the EQ in the yeah. piano for the presence of your voice to be on top in certain ranges. That's there. That's a good point. So, so I'm glad we came back, but that that was why we deviated because it's like, oh, this isn't going to be a good representation for of, of him. <laughs> We I were, mean, the performance we is amazing. Totally right. Yeah. 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 It, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Johnny's gone. Um, he might have lost internet. But that's the end of this reaction. Uh, until next time, thank you for joining us. Let us know what to check out next from Shaka Khan. And uh, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>